Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today I want to take a very close look at the differences between the Mi 9 and the Mi 9 SE. Let's compare both the photo and videos and uh, find out if it's really exactly the same camera or is it that much of a difference? Let's find out. Let's go. So the Mi 9 and the all new Mi 9 SE both have this triple camera set up with a regular lens, a telephoto zoom lens and a super wide angle lens. Let's have a look at their differences and let's do some pixel peeping. Let's start off with the video on both of these as that really surprised me a lot. So here's the first video that I've shot in my neighborhood here in uh, Tianzifang in Shanghai. When looking at them at first, they seem like the same video. But when you see them side by side, the difference is really big. The sharpness on the Mi 9 is much better. Here the SE even shifts focus for a second and the Mi 9 looks much more stabilized. It does seem to crop the image quite a lot more to do this stabilization, um, but the difference is really big. The image seems to have a bit more contrast on the Mi 9 here as well. And I really do like its video a bit more. So this one goes to the Mi 9. This video taken in a mall starts to show how different they are in terms of video. I'm really holding both phones against each other with two hands, so they should have exactly the same movement. Yet the Mi 9 almost looks like it's filmed with a gimbal, even though they're really both handheld. The difference here in walking with the camera is really, really big. Yet another clip in the mall, you can see how buttery smooth the Mi 9 is and how shaky the SE seems to be. Again, even though it does crop a bit of the image to make this stabilization happen, the Mi 9 definitely wins here. Take this clip walking around. It almost seems like I'm purposely shaking the SE, but I'm really holding them against each other, having identical moves. The stabilization is unreal on the Mi 9. It's really impressive. So yet another one for the Mi 9. And here for the last clip, I am crossing the road. And again, the stabilization on the Mi 9 is just mind blowing. The SE seems to be all over the place and its stabilization sometimes makes it feel a little bit wobbly. The SE seems slightly sharper for some reason, but that difference is really, really small. And the experience of watching a video destabilized is that much better that I really got to give it to the Mi 9 here as well. So I filmed all these clips in 4K and the clips right now are going to be in 1080p as some of you had commented on my Mi 9 SE video that the stabilization should be better at uh, 1080p on the SE. So uh, let's check this out. So here in this clip I can still clearly distinguish the Mi 9 from the Mi 9 SE. The SE is indeed a little bit more stable in 1080p but it's definitely not as stable as the Mi 9. Yes it's better but I'll still take the Mi 9 in this shot. Here in this park it's the same deal. It is a bit more stable, but I'll still take the Mi 9. Walking here to this lane, again, the Mi 9 looks a little bit more stable in 1080p, with both phones having image stabilization turned on. This clip here is with both phones having image stabilization turned off. And I'd say it really makes you appreciate the uh, IS. The clip here is also shot on 1080p. The SE is a little bit more stable again, but I do still favor the Mi 9 video as it does seem to be a little bit more stable once again. Here, one more shot in 4K with both having an IS turned on. And yet again, I 100, 200% favor the Mi 9 on this one again. So why is it that different? Well, probably because the Mi 9 has that Snapdragon 855 processor, so it can handle doing more processing when filming, which makes it possible to do this amount of image stabilization. Yes, you are cropping quite a bit of the image to make this happen, but I do really think that it's worth it. I have to point out that I filmed with the Mi 9 a couple of weeks ago and its camera was still a bit buggy. I had a few occasions where I had freeze frames when I filmed a bit in Hong Kong. Um, I do get to point out that after a recent firmware update, I did not have this problem occur anymore when I filmed these comparison for this video right here. So it seems to have been fixed since then and I'm really pointing it out that if you experience this problem, uh, you might want to check in uh, upgrading your firmware. So let's look at some photos. Here in Photoshop, I've got the images of the Mi 9 on the left and the Mi 9 SE on the right. And this first picture of this street sign is taken with the regular lens on both phones. 
it's really virtually the same. When zooming in to 100%, you can see there's really not a big difference between these and they're pretty much identical in terms of sharpness, color, contrast, everything. So this one's definitely a tie. Next picture at this crossing is also taken with the regular lens. Again, at 100% zoom, you can see there's not really a big noticeable difference between the two. The color does seem to be a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more saturated on the Mi 9 compared to the SE, but besides that, there's not much of a difference. Just because of that color, I will give it to the Mi 9. Here's a picture taken with the wide angle lens on the street corner. The difference here between them is really big. The Mi 9 SE is clearly a bit wider, but it's also a lot less detailed. It's way more fuzzy. You can't see the details on this guy's shirt and it's really not sharp. The background is very gloomy and colors are less vibrant as well. In this picture, I must really give it to the Mi 9 for performing a lot better. In this next photo, I'm using the regular lens and you can see that in this particular photo, the Mi 9 SE performed a bit better in terms of sharpness. The text on the building is definitely a bit sharper. It's got less of a glow around it and the people crossing the road and the background details look sharper as well. As I'm holding two phones to try and do the exact same picture, I might have had a little bit of a camera shake on the Mi 9, but in this case, I do like the Mi 9 SE better, even though it might have been a coincidence. It's kind of funny to see that in the next picture, it's the exact opposite. The text on the building looks much better and much sharper on the Mi 9, and the overall background comes out sharper on the Mi 9 as well. So this one surely goes to the Mi 9. Again, maybe a slight camera shake might have caused this, but the foreground elements do look sharp on both pictures, so I gotta hand it to the Mi 9 here. Then we go into the picture with the wide angle lens in this mall. Right away I noticed that the Mi 9 SE has uh, taken a brighter image. It's also noticeably wider and I must say that the details look quite a bit sharper on it as well. Especially looking at the details in the storefront here, when we're zooming in at 100%, the Mi 9 SE really did a better job on this one. When taking a picture portrait size using both wide angle lenses, the Mi 9 SE again comes out looking slightly better. The overall brightness seems a bit better, it's a bit sharper, and also when zooming in at 100%, the colors come out a bit better, as the Mi 9 has a slight greenish tint in the shadows here. When zooming in even further to 200%, you can see how much more details that we have in the storefront on the SE. So in this one again, I gotta give it to the Mi 9 SE. This picture taken outside using the telephoto zoom lens is a different story. The Mi 9 SE looks much, much more grainy. The noise reduction on this one did not come out looking well and uh, the Mi 9 looks way more detailed, it's more vibrant and much sharper. When zooming into 200% the difference is like day and night. Just look at all the details on the text and the artifacts on the overall image here on the SE. Hands down, this one goes to the Mi 9. Next up is another picture taken with the regular lens and this one again looks like it's the same picture. There's not a huge noticeable difference between the two pictures, so I'd say it's a tie again. This picture right here is taken with the night mode camera. It looks like the exact same picture. Although when we zoom in to 100%, we can see that the Mi 9 SE has a little bit more details in the parked scooter. It seems to be slightly sharper on that part of the image. Especially when we zoom into 200%, you can see that the scooter is indeed a bit sharper. Although in the bottom of the picture, looking at the texture of the road, they are pretty much identical. Just because of the detail in the scooter, I must give it to the Mi 9 SE, but it is a minor detail. In another photo taken with that night mode, you can see that the picture, again, is as good as identical. At 100%, the trees in the background seem to be slightly sharper on the Mi 9, but it's really a minor difference that's very hard to spot. Also, some details on the bikes seem just a little bit uh, sharper on the Mi 9. Just for the small details, I gotta give it to the Mi 9, but it was pretty much a tie here, to be honest. Onto a daylight picture here using the wide angle lens. I right away noticed that the Mi 9 SE seems to be a bit sharper here. Especially when we zoom into 100%, the image of the SE seems to be quite a bit sharper. Also the edges are less blurry on the SE and you can really see some more details on the ground texture. The electricity wires come out much sharper even though the car looks a bit brighter. So this one definitely goes to the Mi 9 SE. 
Looking at the same scenery, taken with the regular lens, it's again much harder to spot any differences. On this one, the car came out a bit brighter on the Mi 9. Overall, the Mi 9 seems to be slightly sharper and it seemed to have some better control over its contrast. So just for that, I won't give it to the Mi 9. The next picture is taken with the regular lens and the difference here is almost not noticeable. When we zoom into 100%, the Mi 9 does have some more vibrant colors with a little bit more saturation, especially in the reds and the green of the leaves. So it seems to have a little bit more details on the tree, but that's probably mostly due to the contrast difference. Again, it's pretty much identical, but I do give it to the Mi 9 for making the color stand out a little bit more. When taking the same picture using the telephoto lens, the difference here is much bigger. The Mi 9 is a lot sharper. It's got a lot more details, slightly more vibrant colors, especially in the green on the leaves, and the SE really has got a lot more artifacts, which we can really see when we zoom in all the way to 200%. Here you can see the Mi 9 is a lot sharper and it just looks better. So again, the telephoto lens definitely goes to the Mi 9 again. The next one was really hard to see. At first I noticed that the Mi 9 seemed to have uh, controlled the light better as the SE seems to be a bit overexposed in the background. But in terms of the sharpness, the SE looks a lot sharper, especially in this guy's face. Also the color seemed to come out a bit better on the SE here. So this one goes to the SE. Using the wide angle lens in the same alley, I find that the SE has a lot sharper edges. You can see that very well in these details here on the air conditioner and on the text on this sign. Also the wires come out sharper on the SE, so that one surely wins this one as well. Here in this fruit stand, I've taken a picture with the wide angle lens. This is a very hard picture as there's a lot going on and a lot of details. Um, but when zooming into 100%, I noticed that the SE is quite a bit sharper, especially on this lady here. And also the text on the wall looks a bit sharper on the SE and even the fruit is slightly sharper. So again, this one goes to the SE. When taking the same picture in portrait, you can definitely see some more distortion, but here the colors come out a bit more vibrant on the Mi 9, and it seems to be a little bit sharper, although the overall sharpness does look better on the SE when looking at them at 50%. I kind of like it better on the SE, so I would say that this one again goes to the SE. Next is a portrait image taken with the telephoto lens. You can see the colors come out a bit better on the Mi 9 and the sharpness and the noise go to the Mi 9 as well. Especially when zooming into 100% or even to 200%, you can really see the difference and you'll see that the Mi 9 comes out much better with this lens again. The portrait of this panda head uh, again is taken with the telephoto portrait lens and again here the Mi 9 looks sharper. It's slightly more vibrant and it's got a lot less noise artifacts especially when zooming into 200%. You'll definitely see that the Mi 9 did a better job. In another picture I'm zooming into 200% and you can clearly see the portrait lens is much better on the Mi 9. It's got better colors better focus and less noise. So another one for the Mi 9. Here, another photo with the telephoto lens, which is a bit harder to shoot with uh, people walking. But again, the Mi 9 looks sharper. There's less artifacts and more vibrant colors. So yet another one for the Mi 9. And in yet another one, this gets verified again. The telephoto on the Mi 9 comes out much better. It's sharper, more contrast and far less artifacts. So again, one for the Mi 9. So what's the conclusion here? Well, for film, it's very simple. The Mi 9 has such a great image stabilization that makes its video so much more stabilized and much more enjoyable to watch. Probably due to a better processor, which can handle this much better. So for a video, the Mi 9 seems to be taking the lead. For photography, the differences are a little bit more complex. The main camera seems to be identical. So identical that the differences that I've captured must have been either due to the autofocus or because of some small unintentional camera shakes. But generally the photos taken with the regular lens on both phones are exactly the same. The wide angle lens on the Mi 9 SE is a bit wider, which does have a little bit more lens distortion. But in many situations, it is a bit sharper, especially with photos that have a bit more light. 
At night, the wide angle on the Mi 9 seems to take some better pictures with less noise and less artifacts. Although during the day, the Mi 9 SE has a sharper image with less edge blur and it just comes out better. The telephoto portrait lens on the Mi 9 is much more capable of low light. It seems to be much sharper in almost every situation that I've tested it. And also its colors come out a lot more vibrant and pictures have far less noise artifacts than you will have with the SE. So overall, I did get better results on the Mi 9 in almost every picture. So which one should you get? Well, both take really good photos and which one is best for you really depends on what you need more. If you need that portrait lens to be much better, I'd say you should look at the Mi 9. If you need wider and slightly sharper wide angle photos, especially during the day, you might want to consider the SE. If you really need to film a lot when you're walking and you need that to be super smooth and super stabilized, you really want to check out the Mi 9. And if you're on a tighter budget, no matter what, the Mi 9 SE is probably going to be your choice. And no matter which one you decide to take, I do believe both of them take some really good photos. The Mi 9 I had brought with me to Hong Kong and Macau recently and I took some really amazing photos with it. But the Mi 9 SE I had with me here in Shanghai and also that takes some really good images. I personally favor the photos and videos of the Mi 9 over the Mi 9 SE but which one is best for you? I should leave that up to you and what budget that you have for your next phone. So that's about it for this pretty intense comparison video. If this video has helped you out please leave a like below this video because these take a lot of time to make and if you're not subscribed know that you probably should. Also, if you want to know more about both phones, I did do a more detailed review on both of these phones on the channel that you can find right here. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.